So this is the second in our series of webinars um, on topics that you guys are asking us. This is Adelante Abroad, of course. And I'm talking today about one-month programs. So do we offer one-month programs? We do. Um, and specifically the internship program is what I want to talk about. There are definitely one-month study abroad programs. These are popular in the summer, um, and those are viable. The one-month internship program, we do offer it, but I don't recommend it. It's not um, optimal. Because why? Because you're not sitting in a classroom. You're actually trying to complete an internship. You have to get trained and actually do some work and learn something in a foreign country in one month is almost impossible. So yes, we do offer it, mostly for our candidates who are already working and all they have is one month, um, but it does change our business model. In our program, right when you get abroad, you get two weeks of language classes. They're all Spanish because all of our countries, you know, are Spain, Chile, Costa Rica, Mexico, and Uruguay, all, are all Spanish speaking. So you get two weeks of Spanish classes, four hours a day, and then the business model is that only then, on the third week that you're in country, do you start your internship. Well, for a one-month program, of course, a company is not going to take a foreign intern for just two weeks. So for the one-month program, you have to begin your internship at the same time as your classes, which is always complicated. The classes might only be offered in the morning, and your company, especially in summer, might really want you in the morning, so the hours don't overlap. Um, also, even if they do work, it's very intensive. You take four hours a day of classes, public transportation back home to have lunch, public transportation back out to do four hours of internship those first two weeks. So the short answer is yes, you can do a one-month international internship program. We do offer it, but we don't recommend it at all. For an internship experience, it's much better to do two months. In fact, many, many companies have a two-month minimum. Our one-month program is typically limited to just the teaching English internship, although sometimes we've been able to do social media or or um, other translational work, um, but it's really limited the amount of um, companies who are interested in having a foreign intern for such a short amount of time. Last thing before I let you go, the one-month program is also expensive. So people say, is the two-month program double the one-month cost? The three-month internship abroad program isn't even double the one-month cost. Everything is front-loaded, kind of like when you buy one roll of paper towels versus six rolls. The one individual roll is more expensive. It's the same thing. So if you have to, if all you have is a month, definitely come. It's better than staying home, but it's not optimal. Thanks so much, guys.